Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about how you can get started with Metronic version 8, which is the latest version, using Webpack. And um, before we get started, first need to purchase Metronic, you can actually get it from our official website, keenteams.com slash Metronic, and then click on the buy now button right here. Or follow the link in the description below, we will add a link to this page where you can purchase Metronic. If you already have purchased Metronic, you can go ahead and just download and update or download the latest version and once you uh, download it then unzip it and it will look something like this and the first thing you need to do here is if you go into the main folder you greet it with five folders you have the design folder where we have all our designs that consists of all the elements and components that comes with Metronic 8 and also the five versions of Metronic which is the basic HTML, a PHP Laravel version, a React and a view version. However, in this video, we'll be talking about just the base HTML, but we'll be installing uh, using Webpack method. So let's go ahead and open our demo. Go basically navigate to HTML theme, demo one and this, and then open up the index. And then once we're here, you can see Metronic running as a static page using the HTML file. We can actually go to the docs uh, documentation uh, uh, documentation page and go to build and go to webpack and in here you have very easy step by step on how you can actually set up uh, Metronic 8 using webpack so the number one step of course is to just purchase Metronic get the latest theme source from the marketplace which is this then once you've done that you need to download Node.js right here if you already have uh, Node.js you don't need to do this you can skip this step but if you don't just go ahead and download the correct file the installer that you need whether it's a mac or a windows installer then we need to open command prompt or terminal and navigate to our tools folder so in this case we can actually use the terminal that comes with visual studio code the ide that we are using so let's open visual studio this is our latest version of metronic 8 and then we just have to open up the terminal right here let's make this bigger and then we navigate to our tools folder. So our tools is right here. So basically we need to navigate to the HTML theme and then tools. So HTML theme tools like so. And then we can now start inputting our commands to start installing NPM like this. So just have to copy this and put it in here and then just run it. If you already have NPM installed, you don't have to do this. Same goes with a yarn, you need to install yarn as well. So go ahead and just run it. But if you already have it installed, you don't have to do it. For example, I already have npm and yarn installed. Now, next thing is we need to run yarn to install all of our third party dependencies. So let's go ahead and run yarn. Now, if you already have yarn or if you already ran yarn, the yarn command, it will basically say that all your packages are already up to date. So this is all good. And these are just a few notes of why we recommend using yarn over npm and so on. Now here we need to build our assets. Now to build our assets, we need to run this command npm run build and then flag that indicates which demo we want to build. For example, in this case, we are building demo one. So let's go ahead and try that. npm run build demo one, like so. All right, because we are running Webpack, if you notice on this note here, we need to actually remove this parameter from the package.json. The reason for that is this type, this parameter or this field called type with the value module is mainly used for our gulp um, build, but for Webpack, we do not actually need this. So let's go ahead and remove that. So you go to tools and go to package.json and it's right here on line 6 so let's go ahead and just delete that and save it so let's run our build again all right as you can see it is built successfully so now the next thing we need to do is we want to run it on our local host environment now let's go ahead and do that so npm run localhost and then you add a flag with the demo number that you want so in this example we will start with demo 1 all right, it's done. We just need to control click this 
and as you can see it's now loading on our localhost environment there you go however if you realize that within our folders we or within our HTML folder we have multiple demos from demo 1 to demo 8 now to preview demo 1 to demo 8 you can actually go to our main website right here keenteams.com slash metronic and just browse all of the demos at demo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Demo 9 almost is all coming soon, so keep an eye on that. So if you want to preview or load up, say, demo 2 within your localhost environment, you can actually do that too. So let's go ahead and stop our localhost environment. Like so terminate yes, and let's clear our terminal. This is getting a bit messy. And it's build demo 2 first so now I'm building demo 2 all right demo 2 is done building and now we want to run localhost with or run demo 2 on our localhost environment all right it's done so let's go ahead and check out our localhost we can just refresh this this page because it's running on the same localhost port let's go ahead and refresh and now we are running demo 2 so Essentially, the concept is the same. All we need to do is just change this flag from demo 2 to say demo 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So that's it for this video. This is how you can actually get started with Metronic and how you can install all the packages and, and build the assets using Webpack. Our next video will be talking about how you can customize which plugins that you will that you need to or how you can actually customize which plugins gets deployed into your assets folder so that you don't have to build all of it. Metronic comes with a whole bunch of plugins because it's a, essentially a, a demo package where we have like eight demos and multiple pages to simulate or to showcase different functionality of an admin theme. Uh, but however, for your project, you may not need all of it. So perhaps you just need like a, a certain number of plugins and you can omit the rest. So the next upcoming next videos we'll be talking about how we can customize which plugins that you want would need to deploy for your project only so look out for that hope you found this video informative give us a like if you did please subscribe to our youtube channel so the next time we release our video you get an update follow us on our social medias link will be in the description below and i will see you guys in the next video take care